Forget the walls and stairs they scale at the academy. The biggest barrier for potential police officers is enrolment. After a controversial year, the QPS has cancelled its December training intake for Brisbane because there aren't enough recruits. It doesn't matter the sector, the industry, the location. There is a challenge at the moment with getting staff. We've all got to admit that times are challenging at the moment. Specifically for the police service, after repeated heavy scrutiny. Most recently from a damning report handed down on Monday, highlighting racism, sexism and unchecked cultural issues. This report that came out a couple of days ago provides a big light around issues that need to change. The solutions? More staff for domestic violence response and increasing the vulnerable persons unit. There are several hundred positions attached to that particular recommendation. Where is this minister going to get the staff from? The service has grown by 401 officers since 2020, but the rate of staff loss is currently around 5.5 per cent. The attrition rate normally sits around a three. The report specifically mentions burnout and the police service's struggle to retain female and First Nations staff. The government's promised 1,450 new officers by 2025. They've still got 1,000 positions to fill. In the end, promises made need to be promises kept. The commissioner won't make any guarantees. I don't think you should guarantee everything because that would be, you know, I don't know what the future holds. Toby Jers Lewis, ABC News.